Hello everybody, welcome. This is Binary Domain, the beginning of my playthrough. And I'm going to start it right now on the Xbox 360. And yeah, should be a fun time. This is a science fiction third person shooter, so hopefully I like it a little bit more than Shitty Syndicate, which I played a couple of days ago. But yeah, uh, a couple of things I want to mention really quickly before I actually start my playthrough. Uh, first of all, I was supposed to buy this game a couple of days ago on Friday, but there was a snowstorm and there were other things going on which prohibited me from getting the game. So today is Sunday the 4th of March and I am starting Binary Domain. I was, again, I was going to start it a couple of days ago, but I'm going to start it today. I'll be able to upload a couple of videos of it and then after that I will stop. Then a couple of days go by and then I'll play it again. And as I mentioned, I am not going to be making videos Friday or Thursday or Saturday of next week because I will be at a competition and I am not going to be able to upload any videos. So do not expect any binary domain. Maybe Wednesday or something I'll try to make more binary domain videos so people have some stuff to uh, watch while I'm gone. But, but until then, that'll be the status of that. And then also another thing, <laughs> something funny. Now, usually when I purchase my games, I usually don't think anything of the cover art, okay? Usually... It's just art, alright? It's just cover art on games. Sometimes it's really cool. Sometimes people... I know some people who actually collect game boxes because they think that the covers look cool. But today I want to show everybody something that's kind of weird. And, uh... I don't know. I don't know who made this design choice over at Sega or whoever made this game. Speech. Freedom of Speech Software. Cryware. I don't know who made this game, but anyways... I want you to take a look at the cover of this game, okay? Here's Binary Domain, okay? Now, first of all, all right, I don't know how well you can see that, but, yeah, there it is. I mean, the light's kind of reflecting off the cover, but... Anyways, here's Binary Domain, okay? First of all, in the upper-hand corner, it kind of looks like it... That logo kind of looks like a rip-off of Terminator, first of all, okay? Second of all, now, look at the two people in this picture, okay? Look at this guy. I don't know who these people are. Obviously, we'll find out when we play the game. But look at these two guys, okay? One guy is standing there all happy, shooting his gun up into the air. The other guy is on top of this guy feeling him. Not only that, he's like grabbing his tits. So first of all, why the hell would you make such a ridiculous cover? This has to be one of the gayest covers I've ever seen in my entire life. Like this cover looks like these two people are getting it on right now and this guy's like, yeah, I'm having a great time and it's, it looks it looks silly. It's the silliest cover I think I've ever seen in my entire life and I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not judging a game just on its cover, but it, it looks really silly. I think I, I just wanted to mention that before we started our campaign playthrough of Binary Domain. I just think that the cover looks really fucking silly. I don't know what moron thought that that was a good cover. I mean, seriously, these two people look like two homos, so whatever. <laughs> it looks so silly. Seriously, look at these two guys. One guy's, like, all fucking aroused, and the other dude's, like, all smiling on top of him. What is this bullshit? <laughs> it looks so weird. <laughs> Whatever. Sega, download now or you'll be disconnected for life. Alright, whatever. Jesus. <laughs> wow, this is, like, the, this is, like, the, this is the first cover I think I've ever been wowed by in my entire life. Never in my life have I ever seen a cover that's looked so silly. Alright, now we have wicked bright screens, which forces my camera to fucking screw up. Excellent. I'm so glad that everyone... Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, it has an autosave feature. Alright. I thought it was going to blow up. Oh, another thing to mention before we start. Apparently this game has a sex scene in it that is pretty intimate, so I'm probably going to have to edit that out or maybe just cover it up with my hand because honestly I don't feel like putting this, putting the video into a video pre uh, you know, processor and have to do it in Sony Vegas, so most likely that's not going to happen. A 
A mode for players who are familiar with third person controls. This game standard difficulty. Uh, Alright, we'll do this one. I always do normal difficulty. So that's what we'll start with. Tip, by destroying more enemy parts, you can earn more credits to spend at shopping terminals. What? what? So this game has a system like Bioshock where you have where you can spend your points. Dude, come on! Enough with the freaking white light! My camera can't handle it! So gay. Orders from the International Robotics Technology Association Executive Office. 42 hours ago, the IRTA Council approved Rust Crew deployment to enter Japan covertly and investigate reports of Amida Corporation's development of human-like robots. Your orders are to enter the Tokyo Bay Seawall and infiltrate the lower city slums, rendezvous with the other national squads, and head for Amida. Head for Amida. Alright, we're going to Japan? It's a covert operation without the awareness or consent of the Japanese government. Of course. You may engage local forces in combat, but IRTA will disavow any involvement. Good luck, and Godspeed. Alright, so this is a futuristic game where shit's going on. I don't know what's going on. They didn't really explain it very well. Ah! Chapter 1, Hit and Run. Thanks, buddy. Let's start touching each other just like the cover of the game says. Welcome to Japan, brother. That's my welcome? Your ugly ass? <laughs> Where's all my damn I ain't swimming with no black man. I ain't seen what I'm wearing under this wetsuit. Oh, is it late? Gross. Nasty. It's Euro Corp. <laughs> Yo, Dan. Yo, Let's Dan. Call the communication system. Use the radio if you want to respond or say something to me. What? You can speak. Oh, you can speak into the microphone during gameplay to talk to your teammates. Hold down left bumper to check some example words for various situations. To see the list of the words recognized in the game, view the recognized words list under voice settings in the options menu. There's currently no microphone connected. You can play the game without one, but your ability to communicate with your team will be limited. What? Microphone? I don't have a fucking microphone. What? Maybe, you know what, maybe, uh, I do have a microphone, but it's set up for Skype. I don't have one for, <sighs> dude, even if I did have a microphone, I don't know where to connect it, because it has the little, the, it has that little, like, pink end that goes into the freaking, <sighs> all right, this is not working. If your microphone is not connected, the icon above is shown in the upper right. All right, excellent. Who gives a flying F? What is it, dude? Microphone commands? Come on. Isn't this a shooter? Why am I communicating with people? I can't, I can't just do like in Rainbow Six Vegas and press buttons. Well, understand how to use your radio now? Nope. During gameplay, you will receive questions from your teammates. Assist the situation and respond. Press and hold left bumper to display available responses. Ah, oh, okay. Good answer. Keep it up. The game may pick up background noise and may cause your teammates to react to this. If this is frequent, please adjust the noise threshold. Oh, there, uh, this is assuming if you have a mic, which I don't. The game never said it had a mic. I'm looking at the back cover. It never... Whatever. Fuck it. Fuck Next, it. Let's go over our gear. Handling weapons and battle techniques. We. This is so much fun. We. <laughs> you want to go over your gear and stuff or not? Okay. Okay, let's do this, bro. Why not? Right, first shooting. Dan, you see that sign over there? Where? All right then. Shoot that sign. You'll have a better chance of hitting the target if you get in a firing posture first. Good shooting, Dan. Someone's been practicing, huh? Don't forget to reload when you get low on ammo. Oh, uh, alright. You 
wouldn't want to be up Shit Creek without no bullets. <laughs> you won't want to be up Shit Creek, boy. The equipped weapon and remaining ammo are shown as a gauge, blah, 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 blah. You can also get personal with enemies by quickly bashing them with your weapon. <laughs> Alright, next, let's check out your handgun. Handgun? Take out your handgun and try shooting that sign. Where's my handgun? Change weapons. Ah, uh, this is very similar to Gears of War, alright. Sure glad you're on our side. Alright, that about does it. Okay, my man. Let's get on with the mission. Oh, the controls are like almost exactly the same as Gears Don't of War. To grab that ammo there. Yeah, it's exactly the same. This game controls and feels exactly Over the same here. as Gears of War. Except the controls are a little different yeah. as far as Who's jumping. Running? What are your plans after this is all done? You're a bit of a player. Vacation, chicks, tropics, fucking. Uh, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Same as it ever was. Well, better get this job done quick. Yeah, how about I do that? Whenever I have to do voice commands, why don't I just hold left bumper and say it out loud? Because you guys walk... to execute the operation. Shut the fuck up. Alright, anyways, you guys listening to me can hear what I'm saying, so it's going to be no different if I'm talking into a microphone or not. It doesn't really matter, so... Alright, well, that's pretty stupid that you need a mic, but... At least you can do it without one. At least they don't force you. Alright. Whatever you say.